extending its partnership with TSMC as it faces serious challenges with its next gen 18A chip production. What's causing these issues and what does it mean for Intel's future? Let's break it down. Intel recently confirmed that it will continue outsourcing a significant portion of its way for production to Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, which is TSMC. This decision comes as Intel's in-house 18 a semiconductor process struggles with lower than expected yields, delaying the launch of its highly anticipated Panther Lake mobile processors. In a recent earnings call, Intel's VP of Investor Relations, John Pitzo, revealed that around 30% of Intel's wafers are already outsourced and a major chunk goes to TSMC. Originally, Intel planned to manufacture all its chips in-house, but these setbacks have forced them to rethink their strategy. Now let's talk about why Intel is struggling with its 18A process. Industry analyst Ming-Chi Kuo reported that Panther Lake processors have been delayed due to underperformance in the 18A node. These processors, originally expected to launch in late 2025, might now get pushed to 2026. And that's a big deal because this delay could hit Intel's revenue and market positioning hard, especially in the second half of 2025 when key sales cycles happen. So what does this mean for industry? Well, first off, Intel's reliance on TSMC confirms that Taiwan still dominates advanced chip production, especially at 3 nanometer and 2 nanometer modes. Meanwhile, rivals like AMD and Apple are already leveraging TSMC's cutting-edge technology, putting Intel at a disadvantage in mobile computing. If Intel can't fix its in-house production soon, it may need to completely rethink its long-term semiconductor strategy. Could this mean more outsourcing or a permanent shift away from self-reliance? That's something to watch closely. The big question now, can Intel get back on track? Some analysts believe that Intel's long-term investment in next-gen fabs could help it regain ground. But if the 18A process continues to struggle, we might see Intel leaning even more on TSMC in the coming years. It is to note that recently, TSMC has announced a massive $100 billion investment in the United States, expanding its semiconductor manufacturing, packaging, and R&D presence, further strengthening its ties with major clients like NVIDIA, AMD, Broadcom, and Qualcomm. However, we can see that this move intensifies pressure on Intel, which is already struggling with delays in its Ohio plant and a 7% revenue decline in its foundry business leaving it trailing behind TSMC, which dominates 60% of the global foundry market. While the chips outs were expected to boost Intel's competitiveness, its progress remains slow, raising concerns about its ability to catch up. What happens with Intel next is yet to see.